you will be computing the value of supply to impose GST. So if it is already included, then you have to exclude the included GST amount. If it is not included, just you will be taking the amount, whether it's free of cost or we paid. But here he is supplying the material which cost 15,000 that we are supposed to consider as a expenditure and we will be adding with the selling price of the machine. Deduct 30 from 12,63,571, you will get the balance of 12,33,000. 571 that value will be called as transaction value hello everyone i'm arun kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore dear students welcome to this new session session number three on unit number five that is valuation of goods and services under gst so yes dear students in the previous session we solved a few problems with respect to computation of valuation of goods or valuation of supply under goods with respect to GST. So in this session also we are going to solve few more problems with respect to valuation of goods under GST. So problem number three in the previous session we solved two problems now we continue with it. So problem number three PQR company a supplier of machines provided the following information. So the wholesale price of machine is rupees 50 lakhs. So it is rupees 50 lakhs and it is excluding all taxes, excluding in the sense no GST is included. If it is GST is included, then what you are supposed to, you are supposed to exclude it from the value because you will be computing the value of supply to impose GST. So if it is already included, then you have to exclude the included GST amount. If it is not included, just you will be taking the amount. So here the wholesale price is 50 lakhs and handling and loading charges is rupees. How much? 50,000. What you will do? Yes, this is also kind of expenditure. You are going to add this next installation charges rupees 80,000. Yes, this also you are going to add next transportation cost of rupees 60,000. This also you will add one year warranty cost. Yes, rupees 30,000. This also you add next cash discount of 4% on wholesale price of machine. So what is 4%? 4% is a discount on wholesale price. So what is the wholesale price here? Yes, the wholesale price is 50 lakhs. So on this, you're supposed to give 4% discount. So on the wholesale price, you will be giving 4% discount and the rate of GST is 12%. So you're supposed to compute 12% GST. And here, whether the transaction is happening within the state or between the state is not mentioned. So what you'll be assuming, you'll be assuming that the transaction is happening within the state and you will be imposing CGST 6% and SGST 6%. So by using this information, you are supposed to compute the transaction value and the GST payable by PQR company. So now computation of transaction value and GST payable. So first what you are supposed to take, first you are supposed to take the wholesale price of the particular product or the selling price of the supply. So what is the selling price of the supply here? So the selling price of the supply here is rupees 50 lakhs. So write down that 50 lakhs to the outer column. So add the expenditures which are very much relevant to the particular supply of goods. So expenditure which are along with the supply of the goods, those expenditure you are supposed to add. So handling charges of rupees 50,000, installation charges, yes it is 80,000 and transportation charges rupees 60,000 and one year warranty cost it is rupees 30,000. So these all adjustments are given in the problem itself. Here you can see Handling charges is rupees 50,000 and installation charges of rupees 80,000, transportation charges of 60,000 and one year warranty charges of rupees 30,000. This is all paid by the particular recipient. So this all amount is supposed to be included for the selling price or to the wholesale price. So the total of these four is 2,22,000. Add this 2,22,000 with rupees 50 lakhs, you will get 52,22,000. So how much you are supposed to deduct here? You are supposed to deduct the discount at 4%. So deduct 4% on rupees 50 lakhs. So 50 lakhs, 50 lakhs into 4%. So how much you will get? You will get 2 lakhs. From 52 lakh 20,000 deduct this 2 lakh, you will get the balance of 50 lakh 20,000, right? 50 lakh 20,000. So that 50 lakh 20,000 is called transaction value. So for transaction value, 
add add GST at 12 percent okay GST at 12 percent so here transaction is happening within the state we are assuming that it is happening within the state so CGST 6 percent it is 3 lakh 1200 and SGST 6 percent 3 lakh 1200 total 12 percent value comes to 6 lakh 2400 so 6 lakh 2400 plus 50 lakh 20,000 totally you will get 56 lakh 22,400 that is called the total value of supply. So here the transaction value is how much? The transaction value is 50 lakhs 20,000. The transaction value is 50 lakhs 20,000 and the total value of supply is 56 lakh 22,400. So this is how you are supposed to solve and this question will ask for 15 marks in the main exam. Next one problem number 4. Santosh of Bangalore supplies a machine and other essential accessories to Mr. Bhagwan of Kerala. Compute the value of supply and GST payable from the information given below. So here the cost of machine excluding taxes is rupees 10 lakhs. So the cost of machine is how much? 10 lakh or the selling price is 10 lakh. Installation charges is given. So what we will do? We are going to add this installation charges. Next, secondary packing charges is given. Yes, add the secondary packing charges. Design and engineering charges paid by the buyer. Whether it's paid by the buyer or supplier pays on behalf of the buyer that we are supposed to add. So this is also add. Cost of material supplied by the customer for free of cost rupees 15,000. Whether it's free of cost or we paid, but here he is supplying the material which cost 15,000 that we are supposed to consider as a expenditure and we will be adding with the selling price of the machine. Next pre-delivery inspection charges of rupees 10,000 and loading and handling charges of rupees, rupees 5,000. So this is the information what they had given and also they had given the other information that is cash discount at 3% on cost of machinery. So here you are supposed to give the cash discount of 3% on how much? On rupees 10 lakhs. And next thing, essential bought out accessories supplied with machinery valued at rupees 30,000 and bought out goods are taxed at 5%. That means 5% of tax is already included in 30,000. So now while you are computing or while you are adding this amount, the essentials value, you are supposed to deduct the 5% from 30,000. The remaining amount you are supposed to add and the applicable GST is 18%. So after finding out the transaction value, you will be computing 9% CGST, 9% SGST. So computation of transaction value and GST payable particulars amount amount. So selling price of supply or cost of the machine, it is provided in the problem itself. How much? It is rupees 10 lakhs. So write down 10 lakhs in the outer column and add Installation charges. So yes, as we discussed here, we are supposed to add installation charges, secondary packing charges, design and engineering charges, cost of material supplied, pre-delivery inspection charges, loading and handling charges, and also the essentials bought. So here we are adding installation charges, secondary packing charges also are supposed to add, design and engineering charges, 25,000, cost of material supplied by customers, 15,000, pre-delivery inspection charges rupees 10,000 and loading and handling charges of rupees 5,000 accessories supplied along with machinery accessories supplied along with machinery so here they had given rupees 30,000 so rupees 30,000 is inclusive of 5% of tax if you deduct that 5% from 30,000 you will get the balance of 28,571 so now the total of this all the expenses is 2,63,571. So add this 2,63,571 with rupees 10 lakhs. So how much you will get? You will get rupees 12,63,571. 12,63,571. And from that deduct the discount. So discount of 3% on rupees 10 lakhs discount of 3% on 10 lakhs is rupees 30,000 deduct 30 from 12,63,571 you will get the balance of 
571 that value will be called as transaction value correct so for transaction value so cgst 9% and sgst 9% on 12 lakh 33,571, 12,33,571, so 9% CGST, 9% SGST, 1,11,021, 1,11,021, so total GST is 2,22,042, so add that with 12 lakh, so how much you will get, you will get 14,55,613, 14,55,613. 13 that value will be called as what total value of supply total value of supply so this is how we will be solving the problem so we will move on to the next one so next one and the last one with respect to this particular concept problem number 5 Vintesh Associates Bangalore supplied certain chemicals to Ragulal Mysore on 10th March 2022 the further information given below so the first point supplied 50 tons of chemicals at 40,000 per ton. So what you are supposed to do 50 tons into 50 tons into 40 per ton. If you do this, you will get the selling price of the total supply. Next for that freight charges. Yes, obviously you are supposed to add 180,000 packing charges. Yes, you have to add. Weighing expenses, yes, you have to add. Cost of instrument to produce chemicals, yes, this also you are supposed to add, that is rupees 3,10,000. And insurance up to the place of delivery of rupees 50,000. Add loading and handling charges, yes, obviously you have to add this to the selling price. Next, cost of pre delivery inspection paid by Regulol on behalf of the supplier. Yes, whether it's paid by the recipient or paid by the supplier on behalf of the recipient, we have to include that. Yes, add rupees 12,000 and subsidy received from state government. Yes, as I told you earlier itself, here subsidy is given by the state government. If subsidy is given by state government or by the central government, you are not supposed to add it. Only you will be adding if the subsidy is given by the private association or from the NGOs or from any private companies next date of invoice 10th april 2022 and due date for payment 15th april 2022 so compute the value of taxable supply and gst payable at 18 percent so very simple the same format no need to confuse so computation of value of supply particulars amount amount so selling price of supply so how many tons is you know uh, supplying is supplying 50 tons into 40,000 per ton. So what is the total value comes to? The four total value comes to rupees 20 lakhs, correct? So 40,000 per ton into 50 tons, you will get 20 lakhs. So add freight charges. So freight charges is how much? 1,80,000 and packing charges 1,20,000. It is all given in the problem itself. Next, weighing charges rupees 20,000. Cost of instruments rupees 3,10,000. Insurance charges rupees 50,000. Loading charges rupees 30,000. And pre delivery inspection charges rupees 12,000. If you total all this, how much you will get? You will be getting 7,12,000. So add 7,12 with rupees 20 lakhs, you will get 27,12,000. So 27,12,000 will be called as the transaction value or taxable supply. But here we are not considering the discount because here in this problem you can see discount is not mentioned. Only if the discount is given then we will be taking the discount. But in this problem nowhere he mentioned about the discount. So that is why we are not considering the discount. So total the inner column expenditures take it to the outer column add with the selling price of supply so whatever the total you will get 27 lakh 12000 this will be called as the transaction value or taxable supply so on that add gst at 18 percent cgst 9 sgst 9 you will get 2 lakh 4480 2 lakh 4480 total 4 lakh 88160 4 lakh 88160 add this with 2712 you will get 32 lakh 160 rupees 32 lakh 
160 rupees. This value is called what? Yes, total value of supply. So this is how you are supposed to solve the problem. This question will compulsorily come for exam for 15 marks. Just you have to add all the expenses to the selling price and you have to deduct the discount and whatever the remaining amount you will get on the remaining amount you are supposed to compute the GST. Almost every time he will ask you to compute the CGST and SGST. If he is asking to compute 12% GST then 6% CGST, 6% SGST, 18% GST, 9% CGST, 9% SGST. So if you learn this particular concept and if you are able to solve the problem under this particular performa, then easily you can score 15 marks in your main exam. So with this I am going to wind up this session. I will come up with few more new topics and with some more few uh, new problems with respect to the concept. Until then thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.